This is London Tonight with Natasha Kaplinsky. Hello, good evening. London boxers Derek Chisora and David Hay could be banned from professional boxing following their brawl in Germany. The two heavyweights clashed at a post-bout press conference in Munich on Saturday night. German police still want to question Hay over the incident after they released Chisora without charge. Chisora has since apologised for his actions, whilst Hay has blamed his rival. Both fighters are accused of bringing shame on British boxing. A warning, this report from Sally Williams has flash photography from the start. As Derek Chisora squared up to David Hay, he wasn't the only party about to get a bruising. British boxing itself has been shamed by the behaviour of these two London boxers. I don't believe this is just a boxing issue. This is also a moral issue. You know, these people acted wrong. This is just wrong and um, we have to deal with it and uh, unfortunately he's such who's got to deal with it but we'll, we will deal with it. Even before his fight against Vitaly Klitschko, this slap had Chisora in trouble. But the brawl broke out after the fight when David Hay, a pundit in Germany that night, interrupted the press conference. Today, both boxers finally spoke out. From Chisora, an apology. I acknowledge that my actions were totally unprofessional, with or without provocation, and I have let lots of people down on Saturday night, including myself, and for that, I am truly sorry. But from David Hay, no sign of a sorry. I realise I am no angel, and I don't mind a bit of professional trash talk to help raise boxing's profile, but during my 21 years in the sport, I have never been involved in or even witnessed such a serious fracas. Derek Chisora's fellow boxers here at his club in Finchley had been looking forward to this fight for weeks. Now they know that Derek can be unpredictable outside the ring, but even this has left them really shocked. It's not good for British boxing, you know, you've got these young kids coming through into the sport and, and you know, boxing's meant to be a disciplined sport and none of those fighters there showed any discipline whatsoever. I mean, they're meant to be role models for these kids and unfortunately, um, there, was, there was nothing to be seen there, was there? That's not nice at all, but they said the good news is good, the bad news is even better. <laughs> That's how it is. <laughs> Do you think public, publicity-wise, it'll do them both good? Yeah, of course. Now everybody want to see Klitsch, Everyone want to see now David Hay against uh, Derek Chisora. Even Chisora's promoter Frank Warren, whilst furious with him, thinks that's just what could happen. Now, could you imagine if that went on now? Let's really be honest. If that fight took place now, it'd be a mega event. There's no doubt about that. Big if if it took place. Big if if anybody wanted to get. I don't think I particularly want to be involved in it as a promoter. But I think you know it'd be a huge event. Would you much rather see him fighting in a, you know, rolling about on the floor, threatening each other, or doing it as you should do it in the ring if you feel that? The outcome of all this now depends on the British boxing authorities at a hearing in March. Both boxers could yet face an iron fist and be banned. Sally Williams, London Tonight, Finchley. Well, we can talk now to former boxer Barry McGuigan, who joins us now from his home in Kent. Thank you for speaking to us this evening, uh, Barry. How serious an incident was this, really? I mean, was it just grandstanding or genuinely PR gone totally wrong? No, I think it, it was the latter, PR gone wrong. I mean, David Hay, you know, even in his, uh, in his press release, mentioned that uh, he is, you know, he's happy to do the old um, uh, trash talk and stuff. This is a trash talking event that actually went wrong. He picked the wrong guy when he fell out with Derek Chisora. And Derek Chisora was reprehensible all weekend. His behaviour was dreadful. And, and the ironic thing is, Natasha, that he actually boxed really well, really bravely, pushed Vitaly Klitschko back, given the hardest fight he's had since he fought uh, Lennox Lewis many years ago. So it, 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 and that, sadly, is all sort of diminished by his behaviour both before and after uh, the event but you know David here can't get out of this he was the one that kicked this all off he wasn't part of the press conference he's had a, has a habit of, of gate crashing press conferences and this one just went wrong I'm afraid and it was the worst I've ever seen I know I've seen this uh, stuff before remember Ali and, and Fraser done it one time it spilled over one time when they were having a bit of banter uh, way back in the 70s then we've seen it with Mike Tyson and Lennox 
Lennox Lewis, Herbie Hyde and, and Michael Bent and Herbie Hyde and Riddick Bowe. So it's happened before, but never to this extent. Mm, really interesting hearing your views on this, I have to say. I mean, the authorities are taking it very seriously, aren't they? They're saying that, you know, they, they may both face life uh, ban matches. Um, do you think that's a bit of an overreaction or do you think that that would actually be a fair uh, discipline? Well, well, look at Natasha, nobody was seriously hurt. It was appalling and it was dreadful and I'm not condoning this behaviour at all but to give them a life ban first of all it wouldn't work because Derek Chisora and David Hay would simply go to America and get a license in one of the states in America or they could go to Europe and do the same so that's not going to work however I do believe they need to be punished uh, severely financially and they need to have a lengthy ban there's no question about that it's you know it's unbelievable all the good work that young uh, kids do up and down the country who dedicate their life to boxing the boxing coaches all over the country who do so much commit a lifetime to, to benefiting these young kids and making a life for themselves and boxing has helped so many thousands of young kids and then for the guys in the shop window to behave like that is just totally unacceptable thank you very much indeed for talking to us this evening Barry McGuigan thank you you're welcome He's let us down. That's the view of coaches at the South London Boxing Club where David Hay trained following his brawl at a press conference with fellow Londoner Derek Chisora. Despite attempts by the sports to clean up its image, coaches at the Fitzroy Lodge in Lambeth fear his actions could encourage copycat behaviour among fans. And Jana Gadgill reports. This is when he was about 15. I think it was after he won a schoolboy title. And obviously this is when he uh, conquered the world from out of one of the local papers. David Hay trained at the Fitzroy Lodge in Lambeth for six years until he turned professional. The coaches here today say his reputation and theirs have taken a hit. I think it was disgusting really. Um, two professional athletes to act in that way. Just think they've let everyone down, but most of all let themselves down. Uh, let the boys down at the club and various other clubs throughout the country, especially the boys here, because they look up to David, you know, as, um, as an idol, really. You know, he was at the club and he's a world champion. These young boxers want to follow in his footsteps and become champions too. They're training for the biggest amateur competition in the country, the ABAs, which start on Thursday. But they're concerned that fans of David Hay might think boxing's just an excuse for a fight. You've got David Hay or Derek Chisora as their idol, and they've seen them behave like that. What's to say they might not think that's okay, that's not appropriate. He gives out the wrong mentality, that it's out there for like having a fight, showing who's hard. It's not anything about that. Like, like in boxing, it's a skill. It's to be to hit and not be hitting. Hay was trained by local boxing legend Mick Carney, who passed away in November. And Roy says Hay wouldn't have got away with it while Mick was in charge. Mick Carney was a very, very strict coach. I mean, he'd tell you straight as it was, it was as straight as a diet. Um, and I'm sure he'd have a few words to say to David. So boxing's got some work to do to get its image back on track. These young boxers keen to copy David Hay's success in the ring, not his actions outside. And Janagadgill, BBC London News.